Hey, what's up guys? It is Luigi Cal here, and today I am showing you how to install your pre-made setup. The first thing we need to do is just go over a few quick pointers to make sure we're all on the same page of what we need to install the setup. You will need server hosting. If you don't have server hosting already, you can get some from premiersetups.com or from any other hosting provider. You also want to make sure you have the setup purchased and downloaded for obvious reasons. And last but not least, you will want FileZilla to be installed. If you don't have FileZilla installed, there will be a link to it down in the description below. It's just going to be so we can connect to our server and upload the files from the setup to our server. But with those out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. As stated, the first thing here is we have to download the setup. After it's been downloaded from either PremierSetups.com or Built by Bit, depending on where you purchase, go ahead and pull it up here. So it's in my downloads folder and we're gonna right click on it and we're going to hit extract all. And then go ahead and hit extract. Give it just a minute or two, just to get all the files out of the zip folder and into a normal folder. While we are waiting for this, we can get connected to our server here on the console. I'm using premiersetups.com for obvious reasons, but this is just your server hosting. So if you are using someone else, go ahead and log into your server hosting panel now. While that finishes up, we're gonna go ahead and click on SFTP settings and you'll see a server address, a username. We're gonna go ahead and take note of these and we're gonna go ahead and pull up FileZilla. Once FileZilla is pulled up, we're gonna go ahead and put in the host here the username here, your password is going to be a password to your panel. So whatever you use to log into your panel, not for your client area. And the port here is 2022, which should be automatically filled if you just copy and paste this, but if not, you can fill it out there. After that, you'll hit quick connect and it'll connect to the server. You can also just go here and then hit new site and then paste the information in as needed. For me, I already have a site created and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it up with the test servers and testing server. Now that I'm connected, you can see listery directory and directory listing of just the base directory successful. Should say empty. Yours may have the server.jar here. That's completely fine. We are gonna go ahead and likely just delete that though. Make sure this says empty. If there's any files here, make sure the server stopped and then just delete it all. All right, and now this looks like it's extracted, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this folder. There's a few important links in this folder that you should know. There's our Discord, if you wanna get in contact with us. There is the Terms of Service. There's also a link to the documentation, which is arguably the most important thing here, and also a link to our hosting if you need it. What we're gonna go ahead and do is double click on the link to the documentation and hit open. This will bring you right to our website that tells you everything you need to get started with the setup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on getting started for Mythic Prison. And you should see there is a native version right here. This is important to remember. All right, and the next thing to do once we have that native version noted is let's go ahead and pull up FileZilla. We should still be connected on the right hand side here. And then let's go ahead and pull up our downloaded folder as well. You'll also see a version, we don't need that, but what we need is the stuff inside of server files. We're gonna double click to open it and we're gonna select everything in here and drag and drop it into our directory. You can see it starts to go. This is going to take a minute or two, depending on your internet, this could take a good like 30 minutes. Usually for me, it's only about five or six. We're gonna go ahead and let this upload for a minute. And while that's uploading, there is a few things we can do to make sure we are ready to go. If we go back to our documentation here, you can see that there are dependencies for citizens and for an images file. Both of these we are going to want to download to our folder. So I'll click on citizens and then click on the citizens jar. And I will also go ahead and go to images.db. This images file is for the images mine. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just hit download here. It'll take just a second. Basically at this point, it's just gonna be a waiting game of allowing the images file to download. Citizens should be pretty fast. Images is only for the mythic prison. So let's say you are installing something different like mythic survival. In the getting started, you see their images isn't here. It's just MCMMO and simple pets are on there. So it's important to check depending on the setup, what your dependencies are going to be. And while all that's downloading, maybe it's getting about halfway there. We can check in on this. It is still uploading as well. So at this point, I'm just going to come back to you once everything is finished up. All right. And now that everything is finished up here, we only have a few more steps before the server is ready to go. So going back to our documentation here, you're gonna see citizens goes in slash plugins. So we're gonna go over here to slash plugins. 
and we're gonna go ahead and drag our citizens jar in with the rest of it there. Give it just a second as it loads. And now it's uploaded. Also our images.db needs to go in slash plugins slash images. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up slash images in here. There's the folder for it. And then we're gonna drag and drop the images.db into there. Give it just a second. That is a pretty big file. Um, that's just a little bit different from Mythic Prism for a lot of the other setups. So you won't have files nearly this big. You'll be like how the citizens file was where it's almost pretty much instant. All right, and now that those are both uploaded, we have just one last step here. If you go back to the base directory, you'll see there is no server.jar. Sometimes it is included. I do include it once in a while, but it makes the download really big. So I prefer not to include it and just have you get it manually. This is really easy if you're on our hosting here. We're just gonna make this a little full screen and pull up the files. And then there is versions and mod packs. We'll click that. We want to install paper. All these setups use paper. And we're on 1.19.3. And that is where this native version comes into play. So we're gonna hit 1.19.3, hit install. It'll get rid of the old version, which isn't anything actually. And then it will install the new one. And now that the version is changed, what we can do is hit the start button. It will take just a minute to start up. I'm gonna go ahead and let it fully start up and then we'll go ahead and take a look and see it in game. All right, and now that the server is booted up, you can see it says done over here. And if we type in slash PL, we can see that all the plugins are green and ready to go. I have my Minecraft loaded up, then put the IP in. Let's go ahead and join this server. And it is gonna ask you for all the Mythic setups if you want to install the resource pack, we do. We'll make this full screen here and you should see everything is installed correctly. We got the little special unique images loaded up and now you are ready to use your pre-made setup. That should be it for today, guys. If you have any questions or having any issues with installing your setup, please feel free to join us on discord.premiersetups.com. There will be links to everything you need down in the description below. But besides for that, guys, thank you all for watching. Luigi Cal out.